Phoenix Home Care and Hospice. I choose Phoenix. Hello, and welcome to this edition of Why It Matters. I'm Terry Tucker with Phoenix Home Care and Hospice. Why It Matters is a little video magazine we put out that helps us understand what's happening in our communities and how are these wonderful businesses helping make moments matter. So today, our guest is Jill Dobbs. She's Vice President of Business Development for Central Bank Trust Company, or Central Trust Company. Correct. And I'm so excited to have her because we're going to walk down a little path with her about how a bank, aka Central Bank, can help us really enjoy the moments we have in life. So tell me, how what Central Bank do? Um, well, at Central Trust Company, we really do a few things. Um, mainly, we help people manage their money, manage their wealth, um, and, and really we take the burden off of them and we do a lot of investment decisions and things for them so that they can enjoy their life and they don't have to worry day in and day out about, about their money and where it, where it is and um, even we do bill pay even and help people make sure that all their things are paid and um, so that they can just go and do what they enjoy like. Enjoy their life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. Um, and really know what they can do. Like sometimes I don't even know what I can do. I don't know what my resources are. I don't know if I have enough money. I don't know how much something might cost. And so maybe I scrimp, maybe I reduce my capacity to live life because I don't know. So can Central Bank, Central Trust Company help me with that? Yes, yeah, we actually see that quite a bit with people. And uh, even um, more so after maybe one spouse passes away or becomes incapacitated, the other spouse maybe wasn't that familiar with their financial situation and they do have all of those questions. They have no idea, you know, can I afford to live where I live? Can I afford to still take vacations? Can I do all these things? And so um, that's one of the big things that we do is sit down with people and just kind of gather all of the information about their money figure out where they are and then come up with a plan to, to finance whatever it is that they want to do in life and make sure that they're comfortable and help them gain knowledge because when you have knowledge about these things then you have peace of mind. Right. So that's a big part. And of then you're empowered. Yes. You're empowered to make those kind of decisions. I thought of another question while we were talking. Uh, a lot of people worry about their legacy. They worry about what they can leave behind. Is that something the trust company can help me with? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm always surprised that so many people are so concerned about whether they leave their kids. <laughs> I don't know that I would be, but um, it is true. I mean, people do worry about that. And so that's a big part of what we do with um, revocability trusts and making sure that we set things up, um, you know, be it your retirement plan or whatever, to maximize the amount of money that is left to future generations if that is a priority for you. Um, there's a new SECURE Act that's come out and it, it significantly changes the landscape of how much you leave to your heirs and kind of what the tax ramifications of that are. So lately we've been doing wow. a lot of conversations with people about that um, to again maximize what you leave. So let me play a little scenario with you. Um, maybe I am an elder person. I don't know, notice how I said maybe I'm an elder yeah, person. Yeah, no, you're not uh, an elder person. And <laughs> I don't know what to do maybe I have a little bit of investment somewhere but I, they're kind of like scattered all over and I just can't get my arms around everything. How do I find you? How do I reach out? What do, what do I say when I pick up that phone and call you for the first time? Um, probably just, you know, I need some help with my investments or my, my finances. Um, that's people, that's how people come to us most generally. Um, and then we just kind of give you an idea of what to bring in on the first visit. Okay. And then we sit down and figure out what do you have. Sometimes you don't even know that it's sort of something that you should be looking at. Sure. Or you, out of sight, out of mind. So often people get maybe an annual statement on an asset and they forget all about it. And so we kind of we go through a checklist and sort of remind you of the things that you might have, gather all that information, and then we can do an analysis. We offer a free second opinion service to just come in and sit down and see if you are doing the best that you can, getting the best price that you can and with what you have, what you're doing for it. Sounds easy and, and give it to the experts. Right, right, yeah, absolutely. So the last thing I want to ask you, and it's just kind of an inquisitive side of me that wants to know, everywhere I go in this community, and really in multiple communities that I'm in, I see the logo of Central Bank. So, yeah. so you guys are everywhere putting your support behind great causes. Is that that's part of your mission, that's in your core values? How do you do that? I'd say that's just a core value of not only the company, but also of the employees that work in the company. Um, 
I've been there for many years and it, it really is a culture of giving back to the communities that we serve. And we are, even though we are a big bank, um, we have great resources, we also are still a community bank and we never forget that. And we serve in 13 different holding company banks, so that touches really all communities in the Missouri area and then beyond. Um, and it, it's just important. It's, um, I think they do a very good job of hiring people that already have those values that and desire to serve. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, servants heart. So you help the American Heart Association of um, all of these, but I know that one specific one that you support a lot is the United Way. Yeah, the United Way is kind of the the charity of choice, if you will, um, for Central Bank and um, to the to the point where they even allow us to do payroll deductions, the employees to make contributions to the United Way. And I think that's because the United Way serves so many different right. organizations right. in our community and we feel strongly that it's well managed and um, many of the people that work at Central Bank are at, on the boards of the United Way, the allocation committee, those kind of things. And so um, there's a lot of oversight of the donations that the employees are giving. Um, in addition, we do the United Way Day of Caring, where the bank allows employees to go out and have time out of the office to do actual service work for the United Way, and they do that with all kinds of organizations. So it is, it, it's a big part of our culture, it's who we are, certainly serving that community. Well, we're so glad you came in today and had a little visit with us at Why It Matters, and we thank you for joining us as well, and we'll see you next time on Why It Matters. Phoenix Home Care and Hospice. I choose Phoenix.